Welcome back to Belinda's Country Living. Good morning, afternoon, and evening to all my YouTube family and friends. Today's video is going to be making homemade potato salad. Now, I'm doing a small batch today. It, I'm just feeding me and my grandkids today. So, I'm not making a huge batch as if I was going to take it to a cookout or an outing or or whatever. Normally, I would make a huge batch. But today is going to be small. So, what you're going to need is I've already got my potatoes already boiled. And I've let them cool down. Now, I've used five small potatoes. You're going to need one small onion. You're going to need a cup of Miracle Whip. That's the salad dressing. It's a little sweeter than the mayo. You're going to need a dab of mustard, some relish, a little bit of white vinegar, paprika for decoration, and, that, and you're going to need some eggs. Now, I boiled three eggs. They were already peeled. I didn't think you wanted to see me peel them, so we're going to need three of them. Two of them is going to go in the potato salad, and one of them is going to go for the top. So, Let's get started. We are going to chop this onion up. You don't need a whole lot of onion if you're just doing a small batch. Normally I would do a large onion. We like onions, so. If you don't like onion, just omit that. You don't have to put it in there. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. It's a little bit warmer today. No rain here in Indiana. I have been doing laundry and trying to catch up on a few things. For those of you out there that don't know, or you watch YouTube, but you're not a um, video creator, uh, it takes a lot of time to do these videos. So we're going to put that onion in the potatoes. Just like that. This is a simple, easy to make. If you would go buy this already made up, oh, I'm not really sure. I think, I'm gonna say you're gonna pay at least every bit of $5 to get a little, little small container. Now I'm gonna take an egg, and I'm just going to shred that up, grate that up. Watch your fingers when you do it. I'm using two eggs. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my dressing in a separate bowl, just a squirt of mustard. I just got this and I never opened it. They make it to where it's hard to get in these containers. Yeah, sure does. Here we go. You'll have to poke a hole in that to get it out. There we go.
And depending on how much you like sweet relish, I'm just going to just dab a little bit. It still doesn't want to come out there. There we go, I've got her going this time. I would say maybe a quarter of a cup. Also, I'm gonna put some salt on top of these potatoes as well. And I'm gonna use a cup of the, uh, Miracle Whip. Now, I don't, for those of you that know me, I don't follow recipes. Just do it to your own liking. A lot of times, you know, this may not be enough. I'll just add more. But it is a really good potato salad. And just mix that in there. Put that in there. I'm just about almost out of that. I'm going to have to get some more. And I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of sugar. Now, I don't know about you all, but the sweet relish that you get, I don't think it's very sweet. So I add just a little bit of sugar, tablespoon of sugar. And now you're going to add, I'm going to use my cup here, uh, and it's got, I'm going to use... And I'm going to see, just about a quarter of a cup. There we go. That just gives it enough tangy, sweet. And you're going to mix that all up. Incorporate that really well. I know I could have just dumped all that in there, but... To me, it's, it's not the same, because we are going to stir this all up. We did the uh, blueberry pie yesterday, so if you haven't seen that video, if you like blueberry pie, you need to go watch that. I love fruit pies. I'm not really a lover of blueberry pie. But the kids here, they like it. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste this. See if it's going to work. Mm. Yeah. Very, very good. See, this is simple to put together. The hardest part is peeling the potatoes and peeling the, the eggs. But remember, when you're peeling eggs, as soon as they're done, I cook mine for about 10 minutes. And as soon as they're done, you want to rinse them off in cold water. Then fill them up and let them set five minutes and then peel them. Don't let them set very long or they'll be hard to peel. And you could add carrots to this. And I've got some celery in the refrigerator and I'm gonna get right back with you. So I got the celery all washed and now we're just gonna cut it up. Take your knife and just go down the center of the stalk. And I'm gonna chop these up real fine.
just like that. It's summer and it's time to get to making these salads, fruit salads, puddings. I'm going to make a, um, a no-bake cheesecake tomorrow, so if you're all interested in uh, seeing that, that will be posted tomorrow. And it is so delicious, very easy to make. Now I just used two celery stalks, so. Just like that. Now we're gonna add that to the potato salad. There we have it. Let's mix this up. Oh my, it smells so good. And you know, like I said, you could put carrots in this. You can put whatever you want in your potato salad. And that is done, folks. All you have to do is put it in the refrigerator and let it chill and you're good to go. And I'm gonna put this in a plastic container. Like I said, this is just for us to eat tonight and tomorrow, so it's not going in my serving dish that that I would normally take to a, a get-together. So we're just going to put this in this container here. Oh, yes. And I like my potato salad cool. Now I am gonna to have to taste this. You're not gonna go wrong on that. Mm -mm -mm. The celery just gives it that extra crunch. Now what I'm gonna do is take this last egg and I'm gonna put it on top. Just like that. It wouldn't have hurt if I had another one, but I know. I only did the three. Now I'm going to sprinkle some paprika. There we have it. All done. See what such a simple dish. I'm going to bring you bring it to you and let you see look at that well I just want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching my video today on homemade potato salad simple like I said add whatever you want to your potato salad Carrots would give it more color. I just didn't have any carrots. And I'm always using what I have in the refrigerator. So until the next video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. 
And don't forget the video of a no-bake cheesecake with the cherry filling. On top, have a wonderful and blessed day.